Dear Science, Today I bring to you a discovery that changes everything we know about modern science itself. What I'm about to show you will not only change the course of science, but history and philosophy as well. Let me explain. Here I have an empty 500 milliliter or 16.9 ounce water bottle. Next I will proceed to pour 5 milliliters or 1 teaspoon of isopropyl alcohol into the bottle. Once complete, I compress the bottle to full capacity using nothing but my bare hands. At full compression, I will twist off the cap, releasing all of the condensed air. Upon release, a visible cloud can be seen reaching an upward distance of about 16.002 cm, or 6.3 inches. The reason this is happening is because there are a bunch of alcohol molecules inside of the bottle. When the bottle is compressed, all of the alcohol molecules are being forced together, being condensed. When the bottle is released, the condensed alcohol molecules expand so rapidly that motion energy is produced, causing condensation to occur. The reason this doesn't happen with normal water is because alcohol molecules have weaker bonds than water molecules, so it evaporates quicker. So I repeated this exercise two times. Here are the results of all three exercises. And here is the mean and range of said results. Now this all seems like normal grade school type experimentation, but let's see what happens when we change a variable in this equation. Here is my hypothesis. If the amount of isopropyl alcohol is increased from 5 milliliters or 1 teaspoon to 15 milliliters or 1 tablespoon, then the cloud will travel a greater vertical distance because there is more alcohol to evaporate at once. So I put it to the test. I repeat this exercise with the change variable twice, and here are the results, accompanied by the mean and range. This experiment was performed to determine how far the cloud would travel from the bottle when the amount of isopropyl alcohol is increased. The average vertical distance was 20.743333333 centimeters or 8.16665543543 inches. There were no mistakes that occurred during the process of this experiment. The hypothesis was correct because the increase in alcohol molecules caused for more rapid condensation, causing the cloud to travel faster. Next time, a larger bottle will be utilized. Now, I know what you're thinking. How is this going to change the course of science, history, and philosophy? Well, I'll explain why in part two. This video has gone on for long enough, and trying to cram everything into one video would just be poor execution. If you want to stay up to date and get notified when part 2 comes out, follow me on MySpace. I would like to take this time to thank our sponsor for today's episode, Kale Swings Productions. If you like this video, I highly recommend you go check out their films and features. They're just like this, but more action-packed and fun for all ages. So, go check out Kale Swings Productions, and in the meantime, I have lots of physics to overwrite. Sincerely, Vexel.